brought ear feather and her lamb into the shed with the in lamb yews. We're probably not going to have any lambs for the next couple of nights, but this way it also gives them a chance to, well, gives me a chance to make sure that um, she's going to be a good mother. There you can see he's nursing. And I think I've got a name for him because I think he's a keeper. He's a really fine looking fella. So I think I'm going to call him Cole as in K-H-O-L-E, I think. There might or might not be an E at the end of that. I don't know. Woo! <laughs> Inca. Yeah. He's a spicy little fella. Got some spunk. Yeah, you're being a very good mother. Look at that. She came rushing over to see that he was okay and that Inca wasn't doing anything bold when he was the one chasing Inca. So that's an excellent sign. So the news is looking good for Earfeather to take on and mother her la ram lamb, Cole. K-H-O-L-E? I don't know, I'll have to look it up to make sure. But uh, no, looking good. That's great news. The way she went thinking Inca was doing something bold. And here's old Judy. Hey, Judy, how are you? Or young Judy, how are you? Good girl. And over here are all the other pregnant ladies, none of whom look like they're going to be doing anything tonight. So that means another break of not getting up in the middle of the night. Isn't that right, Ebony? You're not going to betray me and have lambs during the night, are you? I hope not. <laughs>